our hidden hollow air dry clay molds that we did nothing fancy these are going to hang on my laundry room which my laundry room is an outdoor shed you know like a wally walk um that's what it is here in the woods so we're going to paint it and it just need some refreshing so we're going to use these we're going to do them the other night but the, the clay didn't dry it was like I don't know, maybe seven or eight hours. It was still damp, still um, still cool, so we couldn't really do it. Hey, Christy, you could have done it to it, but I just, I like my clay to be, be be totally cured, and that way I can, whatever I'm gonna do to it, I don't have to worry about the, the clay getting mucky, especially if you do like a paint wash, you kind of reactivate, you take that crisp layer mm -hmm. off of the air dry clay that it gives you to kind of harden it up a little, and um, hey, Claudia, and, uh, and then it turns into mush. I once drowned a rooster by doing that. I didn't know. So, you know, I learned by my mistake. So we ended up doing uh, some patio cushions that actually came out cute. I did slather them with um, the Mod Podge fabric. Y'all, that stuff is so thick. You could see where I missed, but they're for, the por they're for the porch, so who cares? Plus, they're like beige, so they're probably going to get dirty. But anyways, so here is our, you know, you could take these. Hey, Kimberly, we could take these, I mean, so much farther. We could decoupage on them. We could add more molds. We could do lots of things to them, but... At one point, you gotta stop. <laughs> hey, Lorraine. So we're going simple. We ended up ad adding on the mushrooms last um, little bit. I did put one coat of, I think it was this stuff because painting these around the sides, you can get it on here and it'll wipe off. But you know, you want it, the less you gotta clean up, the better. Hey, Mary, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you guys for being here. Happy Wednesday. Um, and then I had some leftover paint I didn't wanna throw out. I don't know if you guys are like that. Like, I just, for some reason, I can't throw it out. So I gotta paint something. So this has, like, I don't even know. Um, could be ivory, could be gray. It's just, we got some paint on there. So we're gonna put one more layer of this. Um, I think we're gonna go, we haven't done a paint wash technique in quite some time and I like the look. We're gonna leave these shiny because the weather up here, it's gonna, um, hey, Brenda and Tammy and Claudia, all these um, been out of electricity for the past two days. Oh no, Claudia, I'm so sorry. Is there a way to, sh way to share on YouTube? I do believe there is. Do you see three buttons? or it's in the description. I don't know how to explain to you exactly where the share is, but I do know you can share. Hey, Cindy, I'm so sorry you're out of power. That's terrible. I'm sorry. I hope it comes back on for you soon. Um, I hope you're warm or cool or whatever it is. I hope you're, I hope you're as comfortable as you can be without power. Um, Put your power off in that one. Okay, so we're gonna do a paint wash. Cause like I said, I, we're gonna leave these shiny. The weather's gonna take care of them. Hey, Diana. Um, I've seen people go in, um, first a thumbs up and share out to my community page. Hello from Central Cry. Hey, Queen Bee. Thank you so much. I appreciate your support. I have seen people actually take the time to paint these like as bricks and ivy and they're stunning. Like even here, black for the walkway, um, the door, the door ring and all this like wrought iron. I mean, they're gorgeous. I I'm not going to do that. We're going monotone. We're going one, they're going outside, nothing fancy. So but you can do it and some people have done it and they're and they're stunning so without further ado let's uh you know i like this paint um it's pentart they sent it as a sample but it's um pentart chalky um but it's it's nice it goes on nice and it um it covers really well and i've noticed um if you want it to it's pretty thick so you could um oh, oh look at that i'm so strong i broke my uh, everyone go back out and thumbs up this live stream. Thank you so much. Let's keep this channel permanently in the YouTube recommended. Thank you, Queen Bee. Queen Bee, we don't know what we're doing here. We're new. We're trying to make it work. We're trying to, Facebook has not been nice to any of us. There's my sweet friend, Sheila, with Simple Simple Creations by Sheila. Um, so thank you, Queen Bee. If you saw what she said, she said, go out of the video, hit the like button, hit the share, do all those things and come back. Get me in the algorithm. Algorithm. <laughs> thank you. I appreciate the assistance because... We're new to the community and we're wanting to be here and uh, hope we have a future here. Hope we have a future here. So cheers to that. Cheers to that. So far, my experiences have been pretty stinking good. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to slather this on. Like I said, they're going outside. We don't really, we don't really care. Uh, lots of states across the out of control of oh, the weather. That's oh, it's terrible. Being without power, y'all, we are spoiled, spoiled, spoiled. I mean... The, the dumbest things, like you don't even realize, especially like how many times you flick the light switch <laughs> to turn the light on, you know, after like four days, you kind of stop, you stop flicking the light switch and looking for the flashlight finally. But yep, I've, we've had our share of outages. It's a trifecta of Tuesdays in the San Francisco area as far as power is third. Oh, I missed the rest of it. Oh my goodness. 
Just getting hit left and right there, Claudia. Well, prayers for Claudia. Prayers for everybody in your area. I hope the stars align and things come back on line for you guys. And, um, geez. I mean, that could really wreak some havoc for some people, especially people with disability and people who need... I mean, off of Florida, we, you know, we have a lot of hurricanes and storms, so we kind of, we know the drill in a sense, but, you know, it can, it can uh, really wreck your day. Um, Queen Bee's from California. Queen Bee from the California. All right, so I'm, like I said, I'm nothing fancy. There's already like a coat and a half on here. I just used some extra paint. Hey, Sandy, thank you so much for joining me, you guys. I really appreciate it. I was, I had all intentions of going live on Facebook, but... Um, I didn't catch too many today, but what I did, uh, they're just having problems and I'm not about it. I'm not about my time is precious. Your time is precious. And if there's known problems, I want nothing to do with it. So here we are. <laughs> here we are. So, uh, yeah, comments, people getting knocked off. I got violated for my first time ever for music in my background, which nobody has music in their background. People getting violated for that left and right. That's just stupid. That's just stupid. Uh, likewise you. <laughs> Thank you guys. Appreciate you being here. All right. So again, nothing fancy. And, um, I did already put, um, yeah, it, it, it's an everyday thing. It's ridiculous. I mean, as creatives and as watchers, y'all, it, it, it's hard work doing all this. Um, Facebook did another, how many updates can one do? I mean, good Lord, why don't you fix like update number 4,000 before you pump out the next one. Just saying, just saying, um, you know, it, your time is precious. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, I, oh, there's not even any music playing. That's a stupid thing. Oh, your husband's on a uh, medical nebulizer. Oh, geez. Ah, that's scary. That's scary. Claudia. I hope everything goes well for you and your family. That's, it's no joke, but you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. Our, our time is precious. And it takes work and time to do all this. Yes. Yeah. It makes no sense. Christy. It makes no, it makes no sense. I have nothing. I have no music on my nothing. There's no music on my video. It's just stupid. The bots are stupid. It's all stupid. So if I'm going to spend my time with you guys and whatever I'm doing, we're going to make it count because time is precious and I'm not farting around no more. I'm not farting around with no more. I really, you know, one of these days I say this, but I probably never do. I would love to take the time to paint this. Like some of the ones I've been seeing, like I said, where they did the actual ivory and the, the bricks and it just, they look so pretty. Judy, how are you? My friend Ari, my friend Ari's in the house. Woo Ari, Ari actually painted, uh, one of these or both of these doors individually. And it looks amazing. You pray daily for your, you got to, you got to, you got to, uh, it's a crazy world out there. We got to stick together. You have five videos and review for music and I'm over. <laughs> See, that's crazy, Sheila. That's crazy. I feel like you get nailed more than anybody. Like it's just stupid. It's just, it's, it's hard enough to hit the live button. Never mind. Deal with all this other junk. I mean, my goodness, my goodness. So we were going to do these the other night and, um, um, the clay was not dry. I mean, I told you, I was saying, I kept saying, this is a lot of clay, but I didn't expect it to take that long to dry. Um, and it was really cold here. It wasn't humid or anything. So I don't know what the deal was. Maybe because it was on the metal and the metal was cold. I don't really know, but it took a long time for these to dry. They didn't even crack. They did not crack at all, which I'm extremely surprised because usually the thicker your mold, there is not one crack anywhere. If I wanted it to crack, I mean, if I didn't want it to crack, it would crack. Not, not one, not even a sliver of a, nothing, <laughs> nothing at all. All right. There's some like the ivory that I used up that was extra peeking through, but I don't care. Um, because I think that's just going to add to it. Like I said, we're just going, is it monochromatic? Is that the word I need? The words like just one mute tone, muted tone. Um, so what? We haven't done this in a while. We're going to use weathered wood. Uh, when I do a paint, te slapping it. When I do a paint technique, uh, oh, you're welcome, Ari. They're beautiful. I like to use DIY paint um, because it it's really high, highly pigmented, and you can water this down up to ten times, and it doesn't lose its color, and um, uh, it wipes off with act like you can sand this and distress this with water or a baby wipe or whatever. So 
it's great for, I don't know why I'm slapping it like this while I'm talking, but it just seems like the thing to do. Um, it just makes a great paint to use in, uh, for paint wash technique. Guidelines I've never allowed for music to be in the background, the issue of copyright strikes. To the yeah, so Facebook is violating all these videos for music in the background, but there's no music playing. It's just we're doing our normal lives, and the bots, I guess, are picking up on some music. I don't know, so, yeah. And then they have all this music that you can use. I have not been able to use one. I don't even bother anymore, but I haven't been able to use one single song without them violating me. So it's just stupid. I just talk over them now. Um, yeah, Terry, we're going to hang these on my laundry room. So, which is a shed outside. Uh, Kimberly, did you see the? I did not see the. I started to watch Mara. I forget what happened. I think the, the hub said, let's go, let's go out. Yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> that's what happened. Um, yeah, so we went, um, where'd we go? So we had to go get our prescriptions, and he had to get his switched over. So we did that. We went to Bell's Outlet, which I've never rented this Bell. Once, maybe way back. I just wanted to see what they had. There's nothing in our town, y'all. <laughs> so I just wanted to see. So we went to Bell's Outlet. There's nothing there. Um, then we went and got Chinese food. Uh, people from foreign countries are reporting them. It shows who are... Oh, does it? That's weird. See, I don't dig that deep. I got my very first violation ever, so. But I'm on like the very first Facebook. Like I'm on the oldest Facebook I think there is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, um, so we ate at this Chinese place that we've been saying the last 10 years, we're gonna go there one night. Well, we went there. It was good. And it was weird because when you walked in, it was like, it was a restaurant, but it was a buffet kind of, which paid by the pound. <laughs> so you filled up your container, which is perfect for me. Cause I can't, I don't eat a lot at one sitting. And, uh, yeah, so we had Chinese food by the pound for dinner. <laughs> so funny. And then we went to, um, you like the doors? Thank you, Sonia. Um, then we went to a little convenience store and, um, put 20 bucks in the slot machine and lost. We came home. <laughs> that was our big night out. That was our big night out. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. So Terry, my, uh, laundry room a laundry shed <laughs> right now it's turquoise like turquoise like well not that color turquoise kind of it's turquoise it's bright um it is faded sun faded but i spray painted out my hands when we first moved in here 10 years ago and it's got those five gallons of that awesome paint and um i'm gonna paint it black <laughs> i'm gonna paint it black i'm gonna find it. the only thing i picked up at bell's and i ended up putting it back because um it was the only thing I had in my cart. I mean, stores and slot machine. Yes, they're um, credit. Like you don't win cash, it's credit, but you win cash. Uh, Google better community pages on channels under 500. Um, uh, what the heck was I saying? So, oh, anyway, I'm gonna spray paint it black. And it has like, it's landscaped and it's got a bunch of stuff hanging on it, but it just, it needs a, it needs a, a refresher if you can see the bottom of this one i had a great idea one night that i was gonna you know your grocery bags the the plastic ones well i thought it was a great idea that i made a pretty one so i put a hole in the bottom so i thought we'll shove the bags you know in here and they'll pull them out the bottom yeah that didn't work at all at all diana you're from california too um it didn't work it didn't work it was a good idea but it didn't work so that's the hole that's what that's for all right, this got to be dry because we're going to get it wet. And that's good. I don't recommend... I did it once and it kind of turned into a slurry of slop. A <laughs> slurry of slop. Um, but the DIY paint activates with water. So I, if you put DIY paint down first um, and then try to do a paint wash with it, it'll kind of turn into a, a mush mush. Um, what didn't work? What did I say? I don't know what I was saying. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. Um, y'all, did you see my post? This is not my style, y'all, but this is so... I can't figure out where the paint came from. So, I, I was just messing around. I saw somebody do something. It was, like, turquoise. I think it was more white and a little bit of gold. And I ended up with this. Oh, the bag holder. <laughs> because, um, you see the pink in there? It's so weird. It's just a piece of resin. Um, because there's not enough... 
weight to push the bags through. Now, if you if you took the bags and like rolled them all together, so it was like you know, like tissues come out, that would work. Um, yeah, it, it didn't work. It didn't work. It was a good idea though. Um, so this is all this is because I was reading like on turquoise and gold, something like that. But it said the trick to it is to add a little silver to your gold. And I was, well, what do I know? I don't know anything about silver or gold. So I painted it. I thought I had it right here. Mermaid Kiss. It's a turquoise chalk paint. And then I just randomly, like every other, did a little bit of silver metallic paint. And then I just used the honey, um, the honey gold um, wax. But I can't believe how pretty it is. And I can't believe, like, there's pink in there. It's so weird to me. There's no nothing pink here, so it's not reflecting off of it. But I just thought it was so pretty. I, I've never seen anything like it. <laughs> All right, let's make a paint wash. These are pretty warm. I got these nice and toasty. Look, y'all, I got new cups. Oh, well, that's an old one. I got new cups. DT. Dollar Tree. Um, and this is excellent. If you guys do not have um, decor waxes, if you don't have colored waxes, um, if you don't have mica powders, you don't have any of those things, but you really want to do some type of aging process, I know you got paint. So I wouldn't recommend acrylic paint only because um, it's not as highly pigmented, which mean, what means you know it has really good color to it. So out of all your paints, I would pick a paint... Obviously, if you're going lighter, down first, you want darker. If you're going darker, down first, you want lighter to paint wash with. Um, so you can do this. You don't need all the things to do it. I always put a bag on here, but... Woo, there's that There's that chunky clay gold. See that stuff, y'all? Ooh, it's good stuff. You do not need a lot. Actually, this is probably a big bowl, but let's, let's see what we can start out. And like I said, you don't need a lot. But um, acrylic paint just doesn't water down too well. Um, it just gets too watery. Too watery. So a chalk paint. Yes. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. And be peasy, y'all. But look how clean my cap is. Ah, Vicky, hello. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are new, so we're, we're learning face or not face YouTube here. So Queen Bee says, says when you come on, go out of the video. Hit the like, hit the share, and then come back. That helps me, like, be seen on the YouTube. <laughs> on the YouTube. All right, that's all I got in there. There's not a lot. Ooh, not a lot. Bring it all over. Great. Oh, I gotta fill that up. I'm just gonna put some mist in here. I can't tell you how much. Just kind of, you don't want it super watery, but you want it flowy. <laughs> kind of flowy. So let me see what that one, I should have used a smaller cup. Because now I gotta gather all my, my paint up into uh to a wad here. That's annoying, huh? Annoying sound. Yeah, so they just recently put these um slot they're they're like slot machines um for entertainment purposes only, but they have like jackpots. It's crazy how busy they are. Crazy, crazy. Um I'm gonna go a little bit. I don't know how well you can see well, you can't really see. I'm gonna go a little bit, you can't see, but a little bit more watery. A little bit, I'm gonna add a little more water. Just a little, just a little bit. So I put the fabric Mod Podge on the pillowcases. Hey Brenda, thanks so much for being here. Um, and you can kind of see where I missed. <sighs> pull tabs in Minnesota. Oh, pull tabs, oh, they got those at the bingo hall. Putting a little more. <laughs> um, but this one store uh, just seems to hit a lot of jackpots. It's crazy. Next time you're at the drugstore, ask if you can get some medicine cups. Oh, that's a good idea, Kimberly. That's a very good idea. May everyone have a wonderful evening and the rest of the week. I'm going to continue making it around. Excellent. Thank you so much, Queen Bee. Take care and see you on the next trip. See you on the next trip. <laughs> All right. I like to use a... Um, that's a little big, but I like to use like a, a rounder brush than a opposed to like a flat one when I do like, I don't want that. I want something poofy um, so I can pick up the product and like get it in all the nooks and crannies. Um, so let's go. Let's try this one. This might be a little too small, but that's what we're going to start with. Take care. Stay safe. All right. That's what we're going to start with. 
end. All you do, see how you can see some of the ivory color? Maybe you can't in the camera, I don't know. But it's not even full coverage. I got three, two or three different kinds of paint on there. Yeah, be fine. And again, the same rule applies for um, paint. If you want less to take off, use a dry rag. If you want more to take off, use a damp rag. I don't know what we're gonna need here, so let's just go for it. So you're just gonna, it's basically the same concept. Although I'm not putting down, you could put down a sealer if you want more control about wiping this off and more control um, uh, about how much product. Yeah, so if you need more control on this, and this is gonna be like a really nice piece and you want more control, I would suggest to seal it just with whatever you got, whatever medium you use normally, seal it with that, dry it, and that will really allow you, it's just like when I put down the clear wax and I use the dark wax, same concept. Because chalk paint's really, really porous um, in this case, I don't care, but look at that tiny little bit. Look how much detail it pulled out just in that little tiny bit. That is really cool. I can't wait to hit, hit these in the bricks. So just that tiny, tiny bit did that. So again, if you want more control, um, put, down a, put down a top coat and that'll give you like a safety barrier. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Safety barrier of um, how much you can you can take you can take back off you could probably almost all of it really because uh it'll be nice and slippery or if you just want it to be kind of blotchy like you know a little bit heavy here and heavy there then don't do like don't make sure make sure when you when you do your top coat um or your medium uh miss a few areas on purpose so it'll grab the darkness um in other areas I do want to show you the difference between wet and dry. So that's the dry that we just hit. So I went over the top of that dry. Let me just show you what it looks like with the wet. So take another look-see. I'm just going to hit the high points. This is just a baby wipe. And this is DIY paint really activates with water. So um, it will really take it off. Yeah, and I think this is probably the route we're gonna end up going because I like that. But you don't wanna saturate it either because, well, I mean, their clay's dry, but um, yeah, you don't wanna drown it, which I've done. I drowned it a rooster once. I drowned it a rooster one time. Okay, so that just really lightened it up, the top parts, but left the dark underneath. So whatever you fancy, Whatever, you, whatever look you're going for. Like I said, we're just going for whatever. We're gonna leave this shiny because I know the weather will take care of this and get it all grungy for me. Um, so this is, like I said, this is an excellent technique if you don't have all the colored waxes, you don't have all the things. I, I actually really like this look and I tend to use this dark gray when I, when I do this. Um, I just, I like the colors, I like, I just like it. It's easy, um, and you certainly don't need a lot of product, that's for sure. And if it's not dark enough, you just go back over it. We gotta hit the sides, too, so. So that looks like a big hot mess, right? <laughs> you can see the spot where I missed. Big hot mess. I'm gonna go over it dry first, just to get some of the heavier stuff off. And let's go over it with the wet. Yeah, the wet makes a big difference. It's like bef happening before your eyes. I actually make a lot. Yes, Allison, girl. Woohoo. Thanks for being here, friend. Appreciate your support. We're hoping to be here more often. Ooh, we're hoping to be here more often. Y'all, I'm getting closer and closer to uh, my hours reached on YouTube. So that's pretty exciting. I think I need 350, 20, 50, something like that. So. Before you guys go to bed, if you want to pull me up, turn the volume down and just let the playlist flow in the background, I would appreciate it. You can send me a bill. Uh, however, I got to get my hours. I got to cheat. I'll cheat. Cheat, cheat, never beat. Y'all, look at that. Is that crazy? That's just paint. Look what paint did. Like, I know they're different, but that's what we started with. It, it's just unbelievable how the details just whammo in your face -o. You could take it to another step here too as well. If you wanted to do all the, you know, paint each brick, 
and do all those things you can do this first and just kind of build build your layers build your textures um you know i often wondered when i first started creating it's like why did she just paint all that brown and now she just covered it all up and then she colored it another color and then she did that but in the end it really made sense with the look you couldn't have gotten that look unless she had done i say she just someone who i watched um <laughs> oh thank you allison um there's no other way you could have achieved that look unless she you know it wasn't layered and textured like that so now it makes sense all right i'm just doing the edges because we can't leave those all gray and pretty i actually like those kind of darker i think i'm gonna hit that with the with the um just the paper towel just the paper towel another thing is um if you're doing this like i said this one's going outside and i don't care but if you're worried about um getting it on your your piece especially if this is chalk paint or anything really porous i would i would if you don't seal the whole thing at least do around your mold area because that will allow you to wipe your product right off um trust the process that's right kim wipe your product off of your surface so um keep that in mind as well because you know it's not easy sometimes to get on the side um yeah just for a did i say it right before i was saying mono is it monochromatic does that mean does that mean uh blase like neutral i don't know what i don't know the exact meaning for it but i think it means like one color muted color kimberly oh you're saying how to already <laughs> uh, i guess now i gotta hit it with this i was gonna leave it dark but i like i like it with the light with a with a wet i like the look i like it way much it's crazy it's just crazy how beautiful this is i mean it, it's just so simple I'm a simple kind of gal. Simplicity. <sighs> Sheila, I didn't see you pop on. That's one thing I got to get used to, y'all, is the comments here. They come up and then they fade like super fast. <laughs> super fast. Super fast. At least Facebook, they kind of scroll up, but not these. They're like, here you are. Bam, gone. <laughs> and I'm not that quick. I'm not that quick. Okay, I'm probably farting around this with this a little more than I should be, but I, I don't know. It looks like cement, does it not? My favorite Chinese food? Oh, boy. Um, uh, I only like a few things. I like, like, bourbon chicken. I like the honey chicken. I think I like all the sweet stuff. Crab rangoon. All right, we're going to do the same to the mushrooms here. Um, I like pork rice. I like wonton. Well, I gotta be in the mood for that. Okay. An egg roll. It's got a good egg roll, though. Uh, looks like pewter pot stickers. So those are good, too. Those are good. Um, yeah, I don't... There's not much else I like. I like the noodle stuff. The, you know, you play swords with them. I like those. I love the duck sauce. I love the sweet and sour sauce. I've never been to a restaurant where you pay by the pound. That was just kind of funny. I mean, it worked out perfectly, but... All right, we're going to do the same thing to our mushrooms. <laughs> Using that, like, that's silly. Why don't I just put the pen under there? Oh, I finally, y'all, I was not happy with that. <laughs> I was not happy with that rooster frame. The, the paint inlay we did, I am in love with this piece, y'all. But it, the frame, it, it just, it wasn't right. It wasn't right. <laughs> Sometimes I think I'm not right. It's not the projects, it's me. And the other night, it finally dawned on me like it needed some white. And I almost think somebody said it needed white. Or no, somebody said it needed salt wash. And then I was like, you know what? It kind of does, but it kind of needs white. So I took the white. I'm going to show you. Actually, I might have taken ivory. And I hit everywhere where I put that the clumps of clay from the paint um, I dry brushed. I'll show you. I I'm in love with it now. It came out so good. Um, so that's a pr piece I'm proud of. That's a piece I can say, yeah, I, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. That is a good, I'm just trying to clean up. I slobbered it all over the, the metal and there's glue here too. I think, I don't know something. I'm gonna have to wipe this down when I'm done. Now there's fuzz stuck everywhere. There's a little shrooms. Oh, what happened there? Hold on. They're little shrooms. I think they need a little work. They don't have as much 
I don't know if I flatten out their details. Uh, project. Yes, yeah, Sheila, I agree. Like, I, either I love it or I don't. And if I don't, or I think I do, but it needs something else, I could love it. <laughs> then I'm not afraid to, you know, do it over or do something else. But now I love it. I, I think it's absolutely perfect. What do you guys think? I think the white is what it needed. Um, at first, I thought it was because that paint that I used, which I love, this Metro City, it's the one hour enamel, so it was shiny. Y'all know I don't like shiny, so I did ultra matte. Actually, I did ultra matte like down one side, and I was like, okay, that helps because it took the shine right out. But then it was still not right. So wherever there was clay bits, I um, just highlighted in white and then did the, um, did the, the, hit all the top of the molds too. So I freaking love it now. My husband said, wow, you can hang that in the living room. <laughs> so I'm, I love it. I love it. I love it. And look. If you missed it, this is a piece of canvas, you know, um, the, the has the frame and it's got the white canvas. That's what this is behind it. Um, and we aged it and we put some stamps on there. I don't know if you can see how we aged it, but we put some uh, waxes on there and the vintage um, textured stamp to make it look old. So, yeah, I'm really happy with it now. So pretty cool. I like it a lot. I like it a lot like it a lot <laughs> and I did that um I gave you a sneak peek the other day of that uh the fast the pre-recorded video I put out today with the egg so now <laughs> Amazon brought me all different size orbs so I got a bunch of projects laid out over here like too many per usual I don't know which way to go with the, with the orbs I got flat orbs mini orbs uh Small, medium, large. I got, I got them all. So now I just confuse myself more than. Ooh, look at that! That that mushroom has like a whole side of, yeah, whole side of texture. Ooh, love it. I'll have to check out Mara's birdhouse. Speaking of birdhouse, did you see the <laughs> the little reel I did? Uh, our peanut butter, our peanut butter in seed. Look at that. That's pretty stinking cool. And it kind of, it goes in, it blends now with this. I don't like shine, but I know the weather will take care of it, but it blends right in. We could add green, we could go on and on with this, but we're not, we're gonna, we're not. Um, what was I saying? Uh, have you used bonding primer? By, I haven't used the bonding primer yet. <laughs> yeah, the UFO tops. I have not used the bonding primer yet. Um, no, I haven't, but I, I need to, I need to. But this is the piece, if you missed it, and um, it still, it looks opaque. Like I thought it was gonna dry totally clear. Mira put velvet powder on mushroom. Oh, I saw somebody else do that. It looks pretty cool. I don't, I don't have the velvet. I don't. I'm, I'm not gonna do the velvet powder. I'm not gonna say never, but I don't. I, I, it remind, I don't it's not for me. <laughs> it's not for me. Um, so if you use a big wad of the heavy body gel, it's gonna when it dries, it's gonna dry like opaque. Like it, it's not quite white, but it's not crystal clear either some caulk does that like certain caulks um will do that it'll say clear but it's kind of it's opaque um but around the edges where I use the heavy body gel I cannot see it at all and where I put him down because that's what I use the beads but the big wad that I used to put the bird down I don't know if you could see it with it there there's a glare um it's yeah maybe right there it's not bad um you really got to look for it but that's the piece that I did. And it's so simple. The drying time is what took so long. So it's just a napkin, one of those HDF eggs, one of the rusty bird. I don't even, it's not even rust. I don't know what it is. One of the birds I had, sauce and beads and the Easter egg top. So I thought that was so cute. Of course, I, I don't know how we're going to hang it. I didn't think that far. <laughs> I didn't think that far. So now my mind's like, okay, we could decoupage with these orbs like I've got. No, I got issues. I got these kind, the flat ones. These just came today, I didn't even open them yet. Well, I opened them, but not really open them. Um, look how tiny these ones are. I feel like these would be, a, they're just different size. Those are the only flat ones, but these are just different size round ones. Um, use, oh, a command strip or, a, oh, or a tap. Yeah, 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 I can glue something like that. Um, I think that's the biggest one. So I'm thinking, I got like, we could put little rusty things in the back of these. We could do something like a, a mold. We could just do decoupage. We could, my mind is like, 
I got solar flowers in there. I'm like, really? I'm really, yeah, little bubbles. Hey, Lori. Like, it sky's the limit that we could do that. We put some fairies in there. I don't know. Like, I feel like that could really, um, that could really turn into something. Uh, bug houses. Yeah, Mary. Yeah, that's kind of what they remind me of. Like, when you had your, your little container and you could have a bug collection. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. Yeah, so our bird, our peanut butter bird seed house, we have residents move in. They started yesterday and um, they're the prettiest finches. They're like white, gray, and black, and they are so pretty. But now I can't put any <laughs> a peanut butter or seed on the top of it because, you know, I don't want to get any big birds because the Cardinals really liked it. So I don't want to attract any big birds to mess with them. So, um, yeah, so we'll have to wait till they're their babies move out but I was I was lucky to get that shot today um, I was hiding behind the rose bush <laughs> I got in there so it, it worked out it worked out all right so we're just doing the same exact thing here that we did on the other one nothing fancy nothing tricky so don't tell me you age something because you don't have all the things because I know you have paint I know you do I know you do so nice try just don't use acrylic paint I mean, if that's all you have, you can use it, but I don't think you're going to get the results. You're not going to be happy with the results. And I wouldn't water it down too much because acrylic paints just aren't highly pigmented. Oh, the hummingbirds, they're crazy too. That storm we had, they were, because they love running water. And my stepmother bought me this hummingbird bath thing. It's just like this red, it's a fountain and it has like open here. And that's where the water runs down and the the hummingbirds like to get in there and take a bath. <laughs> the thing's so old. It's it's most of it's not even red anymore. Um, but they love running water. And it was storming the other night. I mean storming, and it was so cold. And they were going bananas. Man, those hummingbirds were zipping around. I'm thinking, it's so windy and the rain's coming down so hard. How is how is that thing even staying in flight? <laughs> it was just crazy. They're crazy. Crazy, crazy. Beautiful birds, though. Beautiful birds. Oh, oh dear. Got to cut two zones myself. Uh, yeah, they love anything running water they love. You're absolutely right. I'll have to take some video of the property because we have, like, trails that go all the way around. And in the very back of our property, there's um, a stream, a river, a, a, a creek. I don't know what you want to call it. But right now, several times, I'm going to wipe that back several times a year because up here it's all springs and several times a year it's bone dry like i can literally walk down it right now we can ride our four-wheelers down it um and then all of a sudden the rainy season it fills back up and sometimes it can get like nine feet deep it's the weirdest thing and i always wondered like where does this water go where do the fish go where do, where does everybody go oh, like it's dry it's sand well there's actually a spring hole a spring hole um almost to the road um you have a bottle brush tree green humming oh i bet uh just hanging out I, I bet they love the bottle brush tree what a great picture that would be with them on there this has got some good flowers in it too for detail there these are more like flowery the other one's more like ivy -y. ivy -y. all right let me get the sides and i will seal this because this is going outside and it is clay. Um, you should use resin when going outside, but with anything that you put outside, it's all about the sealer. Even if you put resin, you still want to seal it. And um, I'll probably just use um, the Wise Owl um, matte varnish. Um, that that's probably what I'll end up using. And I'll just get it on the clay. I don't care. I want the rest of this to, uh, you know, to weatherize or whatever. Weatherize? I don't know. It's pretty thin aluminum. I mean, it's from Hobby Lobby for crying out loud. We might need a tiny bit more paint. Maybe we can make this work with a little more water. We just got a couple mushrooms to do. Just a couple mushrooms. Uh, the trumpet vine. Those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. We have those trumpet. Um, are they called just? I think there's something trumpet where if you make the tea, like it's deadly. Like the like kids were kids were boiling it up to get high on it or whatever and drink the tea and it's like it's deadly like it's not, not, you gotta be careful you gotta be careful 
Careful what, uh, careful what, uh, flowers you boil and drink. Don't, don't eat the mushrooms. I'll try not to, Terry. I'll try not to. Oh, all right. This is so simple. Like, it's, it's almost laughable how simple this is. Angel trumpet. Yes, that is exactly what it is. Thank you. Thank you. Glad you guys know. I got, I'm glad you're here with me because I think more than half the time, you guys know what I'm saying when I don't know what, the, I don't have the words. <laughs> Good times. Good times. All right. So there we go. I didn't get too much accomplished today, y'all. I had to help the hubs. Um, I didn't have to. I wanted to. I had to, I need a little more. I don't know if that's going to work. Um, yeah, I don't think that's... You know, there's nothing in there. What am I doing? <laughs> uh, run electrical today. Y'all, electrical st scares me. It shouldn't... I should have paid more attention when my dad was showing me. But, like, the first thing my dad shows me, like, the first time I've ever done electrical before, he's like, we're at, we're at our old house, and we're at the main breaker box. And he says, I'm not even going to show... I'm going to change the... I'm going to change the breaker, but I'm not going to shut off the main. Hold this two by four. And if you need it, smack me with it. I'm like, what? What? What do you, what? Like, what? What? <laughs> so that kind of ruined me from that day on. Um, and he's laughing. He like thinks it's the funniest thing. Like he's a big jokester, you know? He's like, Trace, you know, if I get electrocuted, you can't touch me because you're going to get electrocuted too. So you got to hit me with a two by four. But I'm like, Dad, why don't you just shut the power off? Like, wouldn't that make more sense? I mean, just saying. You don't have to impress me. <laughs> so, I don't know. So, anyways, we ended up, we did it. Ron did it. I just, I was the cheerleader and the gopher. <laughs> and the umbrella holder, because it was so hot today. It was hot today. So hot. Um, I don't have enough. I don't know who I'm trying to kid there. Um, so, yeah, we did that, because we put... We have a, um, like a blow up, um, a blow up jacuzzi. My husband is an electrician. <laughs> See, so you're, yeah. So your husband probably would think that's a funny story. Um, we have one of those portable blow up jacuzzis. Um, I think it works pretty stinking good, but it's in our little camper thing and it can't run off an extension cord cause it's a jacuzzi. So we had to run put a new breaker in for that. And then in the garden area, which is like in the middle of everything, we had like a lot of extension cords running out there for all the lights and fountains and all the things. And um, so we ended up putting in a box. Your friend had those, oh, I missed it. Maybe no electricity either. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I, uh, I don't, I just don't know. I, I'm not confident with it myself with it. Um, I even have the, this really great electricity book. It's like, it's basically electrical for dummies and it really breaks it down like in English terms, <laughs> like put color A, you know, color black. It, it just tells you what to do. Um, but I just, I don't know. It's just something I never really wanted to do. I don't know. So I, I don't, I don't know if I will more in the future or not, but today we did good today because my husband isn't confident with it either but he did good i always tell him, watch youtube videos you can learn anything anything you want to know watch youtube and ain't that the truth though anything and everything you want to know is on youtube it's crazy crazy good i can build a you uh, a website by watching youtube i'm sure you could put in an electricity outlet <laughs> so i think between the two of us if we had to your friend no longer the angel trumpet plant to tell the way <laughs> That's funny, Janet. <laughs> um, I think if we had to put one in in the future, we, we could do it. We could do it. I and mean, we put breakers in, so two breakers. Two 20 amp breakers. All right, I just totally drowned that, and now I can't, like, get all this stuff out from there. Uh, did I say Pinterest? I meant YouTube. Did I say Pinterest? I watched a lot of YouTube videos to build my website is what I was trying to say. I cried a lot of tears. It took me four months, but I did it. <laughs> I did it. I did it. Okay, that's a hot mess. 
Yes, I would highly recommend if you care about your piece, like if it's going indoors somewhere pretty, to seal around because you're not gonna be able to get this stuff off if you don't, especially if it's painted. It's just gonna smear. It's just gonna smear. This is soap. Monochromatic. It would, yeah, it teach you a lot, no doubt. No doubt. No diggity, no doubt. Um, yeah, so there's that. So now I gotta decide what to do with these orbs because I have so many of them. Like even just a plain mold inside would be cute. Just even, um, well, there's one happened to be sitting right here. Imagine that. How about one of these guys with just this over it and then um, clay? clay around this because you got to kind of put something um you know around the edges to hide it so to speak plus we got to figure out how to break those off probably just melt them i thought stinkly was mentally as one so i took a sniff <laughs> oh no have you ever um i was born and raised in connecticut you ever hear of um the seven minute itch that plant like literally touch it and you just break out in, in a whatever like a big hive and it literally itches for seven minutes um but I feel like these, I don't know, y'all. I, I feel like sky's the limit here. Sky's the limit. But I don't know what to do. Oh, I was telling you, I got the, um, they, she sent me new iron paste. I got, because the ones that, um, stringing nettle, I, they probably call different things in different states. I don't know. But the um, iron paste is back in now. She sent me all the ones that they could open. Um, I only have one of the red brown, but she sent me the gray. And I haven't used it. Y'all, this stuff is so heavy. Um. This one isn't open, but this is uh, what you use, or you can use um, for the patina effects to get that patina look. That's um, old man, what's his face? So that's that's with the red brown iron paste. And then this one is no iron paste, just a medium um, pentar. I forget which one I used, but kind of cool stuff. Definitely a different look. I'm, I'm interested to see what, what the gray does or the gr whatever gray. Um, anything IOD that we're out supposed to be in tomorrow? Um, something else I needed to tell you. Yeah, it's pretty neat, isn't it? I, I love that. Um, I feel like there was something else I wanted to tell you guys. I can't remember. I can't remember. Okay, I'm going to be starting a subscription group, hopefully April 1st. I want to do it on a Wednesday at like 7. If that doesn't work out, then of course we can move things around, but um, it's gonna be $23 a month. And uh, I'm finally ready to commit and I know I have the time and put my heart into it. So I'm pretty excited about that. It's another dream, and big, big dream, big goal. So I'm excited to get that party started. And I'll let you know when that starts because um, I gotta do some more website work on getting that because that's like a whole nother ball game. Um, but there's our piece. I think they're, yeah, I think they blend nice with the shiny. Like, you know what I mean? We, I almost wanna, I have this stuff sitting right here. I think this is the green patina. Yeah, the antiquing gel. I almost wanna, I feel like, I wanna almost wanna go over it with this, but then I feel like I'm gonna open a can of worms and then I'm gonna wanna add this and add that and add this and add that. So I better just leave it be. This camera backwards will mess you up. Because like, yeah, these come out good. Look at the details, isn't that crazy? Um, yeah, so I'm going to seal these only because they are going outside and they're clay. Um, the, the birdhouse ones are resin and you know what? I think I did the paint wash on those and I just did a spray seal and they're fine. They're absolutely fine, but these are clay. And I mean, I would imagine over time they would kind of actually break down, probably maybe even disintegrate. I don't know, but you could use a spray. Um, I'm not worried about the tin part. I actually want that to age up. But um, I really like, I don't know if it's in here or not, but I've got the, um, it's Wise Owl. Yeah, this stuff right here. Um, Wise Owl Matte Varnish, Tough as Nails. So this is a stuff that I used, um, I don't know if you saw, watched the, the Shed, my sign, The Shed. So it's not, it's like MDF. Um, the sign itself is MDF, and I slathered the crap out of it with this. And it has a transfer on it. I painted it, painted the inside. None of it's wood. The frame might be wood. 
Most of it's MDF, but I slathered it with this and it's still doing great. Like it's not falling apart. It's not doing any of those things. Just, I mean, it hasn't been that long, but I would thought a couple of rains, it would disintegrate. But so this stuff seems to be pretty good. Uh, almost time to watch rocket launch. Oh, awesome. Awesome. What time is that at? Um, yeah, if you can see them, it's a clear night. So hopefully you can hopefully what time? I don't even know what time it is. I don't have a clock in here. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you being over here on YouTube. Hope this is going to be our new home. Um, not our permit, not our old forever home, but, uh, okay. Claudia, good luck with your electricity, my friend. And, uh, 1030. Okay. All right. Good luck to all of you. And I'll see you guys soon. And thank you so much again for spending your time with me. I'll see you guys soon. Bye guys.